Hello, Pat Ziemer here, discussing your life, career, and happiness. Today, I'm interviewing Joe Bonera, international speaker and number one best-selling author of Throw the Rabbit and Get That Job in 30 Days or Less. And you know, Joe, I appreciate you being here today, and I just want to ask you some questions. Everybody talks about the interview, how critical the interview is. Can you give me some insight on how you feel about the interview process and getting a job? Well, hello, Pat, and that, that is a very good question because that is the most important part in getting any job is the interview process. And what I find is most people uh, allow the interviewer to take control of the process instead of taking control of the process themselves. What do you mean by taking control of the process themselves? How can I control the interview when I'm looking for a job? Right. And, and my goal in any interview is to stand out, to be different than anybody else or everybody else. And I do that by having you ask me a question. And when you ask me the question, I reverse roles. And let what do you me mean give you reverse roles? Yeah, well, let's say that you say to me, uh, Joe, tell me about yourself. I would look at you and say, well, Pat, that's very important that I tell you about myself, but I want to be sure that I fit what you're looking for here. What is it exactly you're looking to, uh, what type of a person are you looking for to fill this particular position? Well, what you've just done, I think, is kind of reversed roles and, and maybe yes. a little bit put me off guard. I've now got to come back and respond to you. So yes. that I guess that puts you in control? It puts me in control. What I'm trying to do, Pat, is develop a dialogue instead of having you interrogate me. And by creating a dialogue, you'll have a, a much better comfort zone with the person, and the person will feel much more comfortable with you. Uh, having been a, a business owner myself and interviewed hundreds and hundreds of people, I know what works and what doesn't work. Because if you look at what's out there on the Internet, on YouTube, it's all the same old, same old. It, it's very textbook, <laughs> I might say, and everybody's well, doing the same thing and looking like everybody else. My goal is for you, the job seeker, to stand out, to be different, to be unique, and not look like everybody else out there trying to get the same job. Well, that I understand that, that you're telling me. So just tell me, how have you done this? How has this worked for you? Well, back in uh, 1964, I wanted to get a job in radio sales and uh, I called a gentleman named Clark Harvey who was the sales manager of WNOE Radio and I said to Clark, I said, Clark, I'd like to come talk to you about uh, radio advertising because I'm giving a talk at the Dale Carnegie course. I went in and interviewed Clark about radio advertising for the Dale Carnegie course and by the time I was finished, Clark looked at me and said, you sound like you really are interested in this thing called advertising. And I said, yes, it's where I want to end up. It's what I really want to do. And he offered me a job at WNOE. He offered you a job on the spot because mm -hmm. you reversed the role yep. and became the interviewer instead yes. of the interviewee. And I knew they were looking for a person at that time to fill that sales slot. In fact, I not only was offered a job there, I was offered a job at the Times-Picayune, the city's largest newspaper, that same week because I used the exact same technique. So if I'm someone looking for a job, what do I need to do to better prepare myself when I find myself in that situation? What you do to prepare yourself is before you go in, you research the company. You research what, what they're doing in the community. It's a very easy thing to do. I was making a sales call with an individual once, and we were calling on a, a very large international company. And while we were driving over there, she didn't see me. I was on my cell phone doing a little research on the Internet. What I found out is the chairperson of that company that same morning had had a heart attack. And when we walked in the door, I walked the, work, the person we went to see was a little cold at first. And I walked up to her and I said, hey, before we say anything else, how's Mary doing? I understand she had a heart attack today. She said, wow. And it turned the whole thing around because I had done a little bit of research on the way there to talk about something other than me, to talk about something that she would be interested in. And that's the key. How do we... How do we get them to see that we're more interested in them uh, instead of waiting for them to be interested in us? Very interesting. Very, very interesting. We need to talk about this further. Thank you so much, Joe. We'll get back together. Thank you, Pat. Because you're interested in getting the job you want, take control. Stand out. Be conversational. 
for more information on Joe's book or to sign up for a free video job search training series, visit the link below.